everyone, it's Maki here. It seems that the movie Gundam Seed Freedom is being released in different regions one by one. I also heard the news that tickets sold out in 5 minutes in Los Angeles. Sharing good times with people from many countries is a very precious experience. Now once again, I'm going to discuss content that contains spoilers for the movie. For those who prefer to watch the movie without any prior information, I recommend that you watch this program after you've seen the movie. Today, I will talk about the world situation in the Seed series as mentioned by director Mitsuo Fukuda based on information mainly shared in Happy Japan, a magazine that deals with plastic models and figures. If you're interested in the future of the lovers, don't miss out. Hit the subscribe button to Sodi with me. Let's start the analysis. What led to the formation of Compass? In the program I released yesterday, I discussed how large organizations such as the Earth Alliance and Prank have significantly depleted their resources and military strengths to the point where they no longer have the ability to wage war as they once did. Let's look at Mr. Fukuto's comment. After the final battle of Sea Destiny, both the Earth Alliance forces and the Zaft were in a state of total devastation frankly, there were no forces left capable of waging war. The great nations view this situation unfavorably. Ob maintains its military and economic strengths. For them, being the only one with significant military power is not a good situation. Besides, Orb is a neutral country. Kakali strongly maintains the will not to intervene in the wars of other countries. However, there are conflicts all over the world. To deal with this situation, a suppression force was needed, which led to the creation of Compass. Kakali played a key role in the creation of Compass because it was an organization led by Kakali, Kira joined Compass. If it had been led by someone else, Kira would not have participated. Kira's participation was the reason why Lars accepted the role of president. Compass is an organization that was founded under the leadership of Kakali. Currently, in the Seed world, Orb is about the only place that maintains a certain level of military and financial power where the leadership is stable. Orb itself is a small nation on a global scale. However, the fact that a small nation like Orb or a person like Kakali can exert influence is a remarkable element. It can also be assumed that the world is weak enough for Kakali to clearly express her intentions and carry them out. Kakali talking to the president of the Earth Alliance and the chairman of the Pran Supreme Council was a remarkable scene. Many were surprised to see Kakali speaking with politicians at the pinnacle of world power. Also notable was the presence of Sayagoyle beside Kakali. Although he didn't have any alliance, it is a remarkable element. He has risen to a position where he is allowed to attend meetings, where world leaders gather. In Seed, Kira said to Sai there may be things you cannot do that I can, but there are things I can do that you can. Kira lacks the ability to be a politician. For example, Kira did not notice the change in Agnes' heart. It would be difficult for him to deal with situations that require probing into the minds of those with conflicting interests. Sai is trying to bring peace to the world by doing what Kira cannot. Although he had no more lines, the scene shows his undeniable growth. What kind of power has Blue Cosmos become? Mr. Fukuda said the following. I will talk about the situation of Blue Cosmos as depicted in the movie. 
there are still remnants of its forces scattered around the world. The discrimination against the coordinators has not disappeared yet. For now, they are in a weakened state. There is almost no economic or military power left. The war consumes a lot of money. If things continue as they are, they will eventually go bankrupt economically. However, there are probably many people who will support them. He also speaks about the foundation. The phenomenon of countries declaring independence from the Eurasian Federation has been discussed somewhat since the time of Sea Destiny. The fact that there are countries that want to declare independence indicates a weakening of Earth's powers. In the war depicted in Seed, the Atlantic Federation suffered significant losses. In Sea Destiny, the Eurasian Federation has begun to weaken. Zaft will actively support them if first forces weaken. Therefore, they have been supporting the Foundation since the time of Sea Destiny. In the world of Seed, conflict will never end. As wars continue, smaller nations become impoverished. The Foundation quickly implemented the Destiny Plan. As a result, they have prospered greatly. The actions and emotions of the characters are also discussed. After Nova came his problems with Sea Destiny and grew significantly. However, as a director, I also have some regrets. I gave viewers the impression that Kiro is always white and Afran is always wrong. In the movie, we put Afran in the opposite position. Afran leads Kira, who has made a mistake, in the right direction. But even though Afran is white, there's still a sense that there's something wrong with him. He is often portrayed as just a cool character, so we paid attention to that aspect. In the movie Kira, who has become discouraged, is brought back to his senses with a punch of friendship. During their exchange, he tells Kiro the loss I know is not the person you think she is. The people around them including Maharumanius cast out full glances at Asran. It's a bit of a funny scene, isn't it? Now let's see Mr. Fukuto's comment on the relationship between Afran and Kakali, which many people are curious about. I think a lot of fans are concerned about the relationship between Kakali and Toyer. As for their relationship, I think it's okay to leave it as a mystery. However, Kakali plans to retire from her position as the representative of Orb in a few years and she wants to live with Afran. She is grooming Toyer as her successor. Many fans are concerned about Toyer's resemblance to Aldolf Flager and Moodlo Flager. It seems that it's up to each fan's interpretation. This is just my personal interpretation, but I think he is a Sokius using the data of Aldolf Flager. Sokhyas are beings who act in a non-violent way to lead humanity to peace. He should have sufficient abilities to act as Kakali's successor. And it's important that Kakali wants to live with Asran. Her trust and affection seem to be perfect. Let's take a look at some comments about the changes in the world of Seed. In the era depicted in the movie, the situation on Earth has changed. Many power generation facilities have been built using neutron generator. Nuclear power has become viable. This is the reason why nuclear missiles could be used in the movie. This setting has not been fleshed out yet. However, you can see it in short news footage in the movie. Orb does not use nuclear power. Orb has an abundance of other energy resources. The neutron jammer killer was a prototype stage that had the disadvantage of having a wide range of effects. 
It was considered a drawback in the Dreadnought Gunnam, which is a prototype of the Freedom Gunnam and the Justice Gunnam. Then, a modified Neutron Janna Killer was installed in the Freedom Gunnam and Justice Gunnam, which was set to a narrow range of effect, allowing only their own nuclear engines to work. It seems that the Neutron Janna Killer could potentially have a significant effect over a wide area depending on the settings. Is this a great advance that will solve the energy problems of the people of Earth? Or is it a step backward, dragging humanity into a tragic history of war? Anticipation grows for the story to be told in the future. Let's meet again in the next program.